Hey y'all, I got those homemade yeast rolls. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, yeah. So you want to start with two cups of warm milk and a half a cup of honey. And I want to welcome y'all to the channel. And if you're new, go ahead and like this video. So let's get into the rest of the ingredients. So the recipe calls for one teaspoon, but I only use a half a teaspoon of salt. And I put it in before I did the yeast, but you can do it either way. So now I just added the yeast and you want to stir that around, mix that up real good. And then you want to let it sit. You want the yeast to wake up. So I let the yeast sit for about five minutes and now I'm going to add two egg yolks, not the whole eggs, just the yolk. Now you want to add eight tablespoons of softened salted butter, which would be one stick. Now I'm adding five cups of all purpose flour. Technically I added five and a half. Now you can use your hands to whisk this together, but I'm going to use my kitchen aid and I'm just going to gently have it on the lowest setting possible because you don't want to over mix it. The dough is still a little wet, so I'm adding a little bit of flour while it's mixing. That's why I meant by five and a half. So I've floured my counter and now the dough is ready. I'm just going to take it out of here and put it on my counter and start kneading. So because the dough is still a little wet, I'm just sprinkling enough flour on it so it doesn't stick to my hand or the counters and I'll be doing that throughout the process. And I'm kneading with almost the base part of my um, hand and then I'm rolling it with the other hand. And you wanna do this for a good five minutes, work the dough and make sure, you know, it feels kind of like play-doh so i'm going to speed through it i'm not going to make you sit for the whole five minutes So this was fun, but now I got to get a grease bowl, sit this dough in that bowl for 45 minutes and cover it with a towel. You want that dough to rise a little bit. So it's been 45 minutes. The dough has risen a little bit. 
and now we're just gonna pull it out after we put some flour on our counter now we're gonna take our dough out and we're gonna form it in the shape of a rectangle and get out our piece of cutter or you can use a knife if you don't have a piece of cutter and you'll see the strips that I cut So my dough was still just a little sticky, that's why I was putting some flour on it. How big you want your rolls to be is up to you how um, wide you cut your strips. So there were 20 rolls. I ended up only making 18 though. And all I'm doing here is rolling it into a ball, just like it's Play-Doh, roll it into a ball and then pinch it at the bottom and tuck it under. I'll try to get a better angle. Once I roll the ball, then I'm gonna place it into my grease skillet. So now I have all dipping into the honey and butter mixture that I created. Um, it, you don't have to do this part, that's optional. You can just butter it and not use the honey. Y'all, my son came down. He was like, that's done? I'm like, no, it's not done. But it looks so good. So after I put this butter and honey mixture on here, I will cover it with the towel, like I said. I can't remember if I said or not. Um, I will cover it with the towel for 20 minutes and then put it in the oven. So it's been 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna butter it just a little bit more and I'm gonna stick it in the oven. 375 for 15 minutes. I actually had them in there for 20 minutes because I needed them to get brown on top. So I just took them out the oven and I'm putting a little more butter on them. Yes, butter, butter, butter makes it better, okay? I'm putting a little bit of butter on it with the honey mixture. Good. I just want to stick my hand in there right now and eat it up. So y'all, that's it for the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you gave me as many thumbs up as you can look at that goodness right there steaming hot soft on the inside y'all this thing looked delish 
Anyway, that's my homemade beef stroganoff video coming soon. So thank y'all for being here. Please subscribe to the channel. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Smooches.